Ultimately, our aim is to breed sheep for reduced methane emissions without compromising animal performance. Hello, my name is Idel O'Connor. I'm a first year PhD student based in Chagas Atham Rai and I'm working on the Greenbury project, which is a Department of Agriculture funded project where we're looking at measuring methane emissions from sheep. We do this using a machine called a portable accumulation chamber where sheep are placed in the chamber for 50 minutes with methane, oxygen and carbon dioxide measurements taken at three time points. There are 12 individual chambers with the capacity for 60 sheep to go through the chambers each day. The sheep must go through the chamber twice, at least 14 days apart. The chambers are mounted on a trailer which will allow us to take methane measurements on commercial farms across the country. We want to generate as much data as possible to look at the influence of genetics on methane output. While the pack does not give us absolute values, it allows us to identify high and low methane emitting sheep within the flock and ultimately our aim is to breed sheep for reduced methane emissions without compromising animal performance. I'm currently following a group of 60 female animals that were selected as lambs back in 2019 from the Inzac flock. This group consists of two breeds, Suffolk and Texel, and can be further broken down into elite Irish, low Irish and elite New Zealand genetic groups. These 60 now hoggets, as well as the remaining yos in the Inzac flock will be followed throughout their lifetime to look at how methane output varies depending on life stage such as lambs, hoggets and yos, on a different stages of production such as dry, pregnant and lactating and on different diets like perennial ryegrass and silage. Rumen composition and feed intake will also be measured so that the relationship between feed intake, rumen function and methane output can also be investigated. Mm -hmm.